Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The first question is asking two very long parallel wires are uh, a distance d apart and carry equal currents in opposite directions. The locations where the net magnetic fields due to these currents is equal to what? That's the question, right? Let's see how we can figure it out. So the first thing what we have to do, we have to create the equation now. B1 is going to be mu naught i over 2 phi d, right? This is the magnetic fields equation. Now, let's say this is i1. And for b2, also going to be, the current is going to be same because they are saying the equal current, right? So it's going to be same. Now, let's go ahead and plug the value. So we are going to have mu naught i1 over 2 phi d again, right? Now let's go ahead and create net magnetic field equation. So B net is going to be, so they are saying one of them is opposite direction. So one of them is going to be negative and uh, yeah, negative and both of them opposite to each other. So this is going to be, both of them is going to be negative mu naught I1 over 2 phi d minus mu naught I1 over 2 phi d and finally you are going to end up with 2 minus 2 mu naught i1 over 2 phi d so here we are going to cancel 2 2 cancels we are going to end up with negative mu naught i1 over phi d and if you notice there's no possible zero magnetic field so there's always uh, magnetic field is going to be there so the answer is there's no way nowhere the net magnetic field due to this current is going to be zero. So that's going to be the answer. Now let's go ahead and do the second question. Second question is asking two coaxial circular coils of radius r is equal to 15 centimeter each carrying 4 ampere in the same direction. A position a, a distance d is equal to 20 centimeter apart as shown in the figure. Calculate the magnitude of the magnetic field halfway between the coil along the line connecting the senders. Now let's see how we can find it. Now to find this one we have to use this equation. B is equal to 2 mu naught i r square over 2 d by 2 square plus r square power 3 by 2, right? So this is going to be the equation we are going to use and if you notice 2 to cancels and permeability constant is going to be 4 phi times 10 to the power minus 7 te tesla meter per ampere and then the current is provided that is 4 ampere and also we have the radius that is 15 centimeter and that's going to be equal to 0 0.15 meter so 0 0.15 meter square and in the denominator we are going to have d by 2 square, d is given by 20 centimeter, d by 2 is going to be 10 centimeter, that is equal to 0 0.1 meter, 0 0.1 square plus radius square, that is 0 0.15, 1 5 square, and that is it, and if you calculate this one, both of them are meter, and if you calculate this one, you should get 1.9 times 10 to the power of minus 5 tesla. And that's going to be the answer for this question. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.